Hi, my name is Nathan James Larson, and I gave myself the ridiculous challenge of making and releasing over 50 songs in one year and documenting the entire process from start to finish. The highs, wow. Damn. And the lows. Sound good. Why does it sound so bad? He sits on a throne of love. I had the most unproductive day ever. Last week was an insanely creative week. I wrote a brand new song called Jaded. Tell me why are you so jaded? And got a huge amount of work done on my 12 song album Risen, which releases next month. This week, I'm producing the new song Jaded completely from scratch and inching closer to finishing the full album. But so far, I've only released two songs this year. That means I have 48 more songs to go. <sighs> But I have 14 new songs in the pipeline that are releasing between now and March. Oh, and if you're not all caught up on the previous episodes, you can watch the whole chronological playlist right here. Now on to the episode. It's Monday, and to be completely honest with you, I'm already feeling a little bit stressed. That's because next week I'm going to be out of town traveling the entire week and I'm not going to be able to work on any music. So no video next week. But that also means that I cannot waste even a minute this week. There is way too much to be done. My 12 song Cinematic Hymns album needs to be released at the end of the month next month, which means it needs to be completely finished this month. I still have a ton of vocal production to do. I have a ton of notes and adjustments I need to make on the instrumentals. And then I obviously need to mix the whole record as well. Then I have a new original song called Jaded that I I really want to get completely produced and finished, mixed and mastered and everything by the end of the week this week. So let's get started. All right, so I got Jada pulled up. Let's get started. Last week I went ahead and did the dummy vocal and just a very simple piano part. Let's see if we can get as much of this done as possible just in one sitting. Here's the first primary chorus that happens just as a reminder. And for those of you who didn't watch last week's episode, this is what it sounds like. Tell me why are you so jaded? Making everything complicated. Tell me why you feel so lost and alone. I know you always feel so naked And everybody knows you hate it Tell me why you feel so lost and confused I know you're feeling jaded Boom, super catchy. I, I will say, I think I wanna go for a more subdued production. I don't think this needs to be just like like bigger than life. I think I think the vocals can be where most of the energy is coming from. I mean, I'm not saying like acoustic or raw or anything. Very beginning starts with a soft chorus. I actually think I might just produce this first like main chorus first. Usually I start at the beginning, but I'm, I'm actually feeling like I'm not quite sure how I want to start it, but I have a better picture in my mind of what this chorus sounds like. It's a very soft kind of string pad. Tell me why are you so jaded? Making everything complicated. Tell me why you feel so lost and alone. I'll need to kind of work that out, but you know, I want to really figure out the piano. I think that something just super simple like that actually works super great. Are you so jaded, making everything complicated? Tell me why you feel so lost and alone. I think just like impacts and some soft like booms are gonna be really powerful here. Big fan of booms. Tell me why are you so jaded? I think I want some sort of like a kind of like a, like some sort of like a splash uh, thing. <laughs> okay, so if you hear this, but then you roll off all the high end, throw it through some delay. One and two and three and 16. And then run that through some reverb. Are you so jaded? There we go. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. I'm gonna kind of do some exploration on some topper elements to get some more percussion in here.
That's actually really cool. Tell me why are you so jaded? Making everything complicated. Tell me why. That's pretty sick. If we can get some more like ethereal elements. Tell me why. Are you... That's pretty sick. Tell me why are you so jaded? Making everything complicated. Tell wow. me why you. This song, it doesn't need a lot. Like, it already sounds so good. I think maybe something a little higher, maybe like piano wise, would be kind of cool. Oh, dang. I really like that. Give it like a super delayed kind of sound. That would be sick. Oh! Throw some spaced out on there, verb it out. Oh! Doggone. Oh. I, I, I'm kind of shocked at how little is here, but how full and how rich it sounds. I think the only thing I want to add here is just to kind of fill out these strings a bit more. And I'm going to use Chamber Evolutions for this because it's going to add some nice swelling. Unbelievable. Okay, I think that we literally got this whole first chorus like essentially done, which is kind of wild actually. That took about 25 minutes. Move on to the bridge, I guess. This is coming together unbelievably fast. Maybe filter this out a little bit, but oh my gosh. The drums here definitely can be a little bit bigger, but not like, not ridiculous. sort of a bigger snare that kind of adds some roundedness to that sound. samples baby I'm talking about it's been one hour and we are we're crushing this this is sounding so good and it's like a lot less stuff in here than honestly I would have thought <laughs> which is kind of crazy I kind of I kind of want like a really squeezed ride Tell me why are you so jaded? You so jaded, making everything complicated. Tell me why you feel so lost and alone.
so jaded Making everything complicated right now but I think it'll sound really cool so jaded making everything complicated tell me Oh my gosh, we're rocking and rolling here. We're already like literally at this last chorus, just like cranking this out, bruh. Unbelievable. All in one sitting. Look at this. The, the beginning is going to be so sparse anyway. I mean, like, literally, this is going to be done at least by tomorrow. This will be done by tomorrow. I, I might be done for the day on this. I might t I'm might. i going to take a break, come back to it a little later. What a freaking fantastic way to start the week. I knew I was on the right track with thinking that this would be a good starting point. I'm going to take a breather. I need to figure out what the heck I'm going to do from here on out. All right, so I took a little bit of a breather and I think I'm gonna take probably the next hour and just literally listen through the entire record from my hymns album start to finish and just make a ton of notes on things I want to change. I listened to Jaded again after taking my break and it's so funny how this happens. Like you'll be working on something like, oh my gosh, I love this, I love this, I love this. And then now after being separated from it for a little bit, I listen to it again and there's like, I'm just like, also like, not sure how I feel about a lot of the things I did actually. So that's kind of funny. Happens a lot more than you might think, but it's not a bad thing. It just means I can come back and make the changes that I wanna make when I come back to it. I'm gonna go ahead and listen to the entire Hymns album, top to bottom, and make some notes. Amazing. a lot of work to do a lot of work went through the whole album first thing I'll say is I'm unbelievably proud of this work this was genuinely the most challenging project I have ever taken on in my entire life but it is also incredibly rewarding to see the end close I started working on this record in November <laughs> which means that so far it's been around three months that I've been working on this project and there's still probably at least a few weeks left <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of crazy to think about. I have about four and a half to five pages worth of notes on Google Docs right now. Everything from need more French horn here to layer XYZ sound to add some more textures to XYZ verse. So I'll probably spend an entire dedicated day to just literally knocking out all of those notes. I'm gonna take a breather, my brain is fried. All right, so I spent a fair amount of time going through all of the hymns, listening through them, spent about an hour and a half in total just listening and re-listening and making notes. I was hoping to have a little bit of time to work on some more music, but I'm looking at everything I have going on and I think it'd be better for me just to start tomorrow, have a whole day to just start knocking things out hardcore. I'll see you tomorrow.
Oh my gosh, it's happening again. It is happening again. <laughs> it's happening again. It is 7.45 in the morning and I had another song idea. Like this is so amazing and I love when this happens because it's like song ideas hit me and then all of a sudden it's like a flood of song ideas. We're at least gonna write some of this. I don't know if we're gonna write all of it. I have a lot of other stuff I need to get done today, but we can't lose it. I have this song and it started with just like, I, I was just getting ready for some work this morning and I just sat down at the piano and just kind of had this. Something like that. And then I had this melody. I just want to work out this chorus. If that's the only thing you get done today, that, then that's enough. I love that melody. I think that that melody is really good. I, I almost always come up with melodies first and then lyrics kind of kind of flow from that. And, and the way I see it, this is, just, this is just my style. This is how I do it. This is how it's worked for me throughout most of my life is like lyrics are often inspired by the melody. And so I'll come up with the melody, I'll have a chord progression, I'll have some sort of an idea. In, in, in a sense, like lyrics flow from that. I, I, I let the lyrics go where the music takes me as opposed to lyrics and then like fitting the music to that. I think that music is something we feel. And so, so much of it for me is I wanna go where the music feels like it is lyrically taking me. So anyway, there you go, a little pro tip. Okay, <clears throat> let me figure out. I will carry you, I will carry you throughout the night. I love the song idea of like carry you. Like I feel like that's what this is saying. Like I'm gonna carry you, I'm gonna hold you, I'm gonna I'm gonna be with you, like I'm gonna I'm gonna stand beside you. I already did stand by me, so I can't do that. I will carry you throughout the night, throughout the night. Oh, it's key. I will always keep you by my side. Oh man, that's good. Carry you throughout the night. I will never let you fall from my side. Even when dark, dark, even when, even when dark, even when dark, dark clouds, dark mm. fear. You feel you lost in the darkness. Is I will carry you throughout the night. I will never let you fall from my side. Even when you feel you're lost in the darkness, you feel so dumb, I'll uh -uh, kill you throughout the night. Is I will carry you. Damn. <laughs> wow. I feel like this is really cool. I feel like this is really cool. Even when you feel you're lost in the darkness, you'll feel thoughts. Your thoughts are. Oh, even something that you can't see. Even when you feel you're lost in the darkness, can't see. Can't see your way past. Can't see your way past the. Even when you feel you're lost in the darkness, can't see your way past the. Past the. Even when you feel you're lost in the darkness, can't see your way past it, I will. Oh, maybe past it, you can't see your way past it, and then I will carry you. So that way you can get to it a little faster, because there's a pickup line. I will never let you fall from my side. Even when you feel you're lost in the darkness, can't see your way past it, I'll carry you, can't see your way. Past it, carry you, can't see you away. See you away, you lost in the darkness. Can't see you away home, can't see you away home. Man, forget it, I'll carry you, your way home, move on, I'll carry you. Mm. Even when you feel you're lost in the darkness, can't see the way home, so I'll 
Can't see the way home so low. Oh, what if it just goes straight to the... You and you feel you lost in the darkness. Can't see the way home. I will carry you throughout the night. Very simple, but I like it. Even when you feel you lost in the darkness. Can't see the way home. I will carry you throughout the night. Okay, this is a great way to start the day. <laughs> okay, so we've been going like 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes, it's only eight o'clock. All right, I'm just gonna kind of work out some verse stuff. Very like simple, like maybe just kind of. I'm not coming up with a thing. <laughs> okay, I'm not coming up with anything, and um, I have so many other things I need to do today. This was not the plan today. Uh, so writing a new song was not on the agenda. Sure. Evidence that this is actually how I start my day. I'm literally still wearing my glasses. I'm gonna go put contacts in, and then we are going to finish producing the song Jaded today. That is the goal. Finish producing Jaded today. Let's do it. All righty, let's do it. Took a little breather, got some food, changed my eyeballs. We've got the session open. I just want to take a listen to what we have so far, and then we're gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna see if we can finish this song, like, now. Tell me why are you so jaded Making everything complicated Tell me why you feel so lost and alone I know you always feel so naked And everybody knows you There's good stuff here. And then there's a lot of stuff I want to do different. Tell me why are you... I think what the drums are doing on this final chorus, I was kind of... I'm just gonna like record like a drum pattern that I, I feel like might work better. Obviously that's not actually gonna stay. Oh, the detail work. The detail work is is strong. All right, we we need we need some low end. There's like no low end on this, which I mean, fun story. There's 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 no low end because I haven't added it. A lot of buzzy stuff on that. I'm just gonna add like a, a simple little. Volume pulse here. Ba, ba, three, four, so quarter note. I know you always feel so jaded, making everything complicated. So Alrighty, I'm feeling much better about that. Okay, we're gonna move on to the very beginning. Move on. We're gonna move backwards to the beginning now. You so jaded, making everything complicated. Tell me why are you so jaded? Making everything complicated. Tell me why you feel so lost and alone. You so jaded. Making everything complicated. Tell me why you feel so lost and alone. Yeah, I want some more textural stuff for sure. There's some pretty cool libraries I, I like that can do this.
Tell me why are you so jaded Making everything complicated Tell me why you feel so lost and alone Okay, I think I have a better idea of where we're going with this. I don't know if it needs too much more. I feel like that's, th this song is, I feel like most of the stuff I work on is just like bigger than life. And so this is almost like, really, this, that's it? <laughs> this, is, this is great. I mean, hey, like I'm, blasting through this, so. Man, maybe I should start making lo-fi. See if we can find some other stuff in the hammers and wait. You so jaded, making everything complicated. Tell me why you feel so lost and alone. I know you are- I think that's it. Like, are you kidding me? Like between yesterday and today, I'm pretty sure I've literally only spent like maybe two and a half hours on this whole thing. Like two and a half hours. And most of this today was literally just like, kind of like detail work, <laughs> to be honest with you, just like finessing things. Okay, I'm gonna sit with this for maybe an hour, come back, listen to it again, reassess, see what else needs to be done on it. Okay, so I am, so I'm exporting this right now. I'm gonna send it to my phone. I'm gonna listen with just headphones, kind of away from the studio. This is one of the things I really appreciate doing is listening not here in the studio. So I can figure out what things not looking at the screen I'm hearing, so I'm not using my eyeballs, I'm just using my ears. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and spend some time just listening, gonna go upstairs in the kitchen, might make some more coffee, see how it sounds. All right, so I just listened through the very first time. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get vocals done today. There are very few things I actually feel like need to be corrected. I'm really proud of this. Like, it sounds very different from the stuff that I've done previously, but in a good way. And I, I enjoy the fact that even when it's big, it's not like a hundred tracks. It's like pretty minimal, to be honest with you. It sounds big, but it's not huge. Like, like what I normally do, like epic movie trailer stuff. I'm gonna listen a few more times through and just really sink my teeth into it and wrap my head around where I'm at and just see if there's anything else I'm catching. All right, we got coffee here, and I realized, I can take a shower. <laughs> this is like the story of my life. The story of my life is, I forget to shower, I forget to change clothes, and I literally just live in the basement, in a dungeon, stu studio. I'm gonna take a shower. Got the coffee, got the shower. We're back to it. I want to record vocals, but my daughter is taking a nap still. She'll be sleeping for just a little bit longer. I'm gonna get some odds and ends done, non-music related, you know, the boring stuff. And then when she wakes up, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do vocals. This is crazy. That's, that's actually crazy. We're literally gonna basically get this song finished today. Today! Let's go! It is time to record vocals. Let's do it! Here we go. Right there. Why are you so jaded? Tell me why are you so jaded? This is the thing that sucks about doing this by yourself. All right, so we're basically just gonna go ahead and record, obviously. Ha, ha, ha. Tell me why you feel so jaded, making everything complicated. Tell me why you feel so lost and alone. Pretty much the entire recording session is just focusing on getting a handful of really good takes and focusing on good performance. Okay, here we go. This is verse one. Three o'clock in the morning, staring at the wall. Got no words for this feeling, so you're sitting with it all. You've gotten numb to the pain, so you're used to how it feels. You tell yourself it's okay, it's just part of the game, but you're not okay. I know you're feeling jaded. I know you're feeling jaded. 
Tell me why are you so jaded Making everything complicated Tell me why you feel so lost and alone I know you always feel so naked And everybody knows you hate it Tell me why you feel so lost and confused I know you're feeling jaded I need to take a break. At the tippy tippy top of my range. At the tippy tippy top of my range. I am hardcore battling this cough. I'm hardcore battling just my range being suppressed. I, I know I can go at least a half step higher <clears throat> than I've been feeling like I can go comfortably. Also, little, you know, vocal thing here. Jaded, jaded. That's a very odd vowel. No, you feel it jaded. Like it's very open, really hard to sing. And I should be doing a better job of like covering that, like doing covered voice. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. But those open vowels like that are incredibly hard to hit high. I'm gonna go ahead and comp what I have so far. Just listen to all my takes. If there's anything I need to redo, I'll redo it. But so I'm just gonna go listen to takes and what I'm doing here is just focusing on picking out the best takes so then I can record all the doubles and harmonies and octaves. All right, so I just went through and I comped and actually this sounds really good. I need to do all the doubles and harmonies and everything else. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is just go get a bunch of water and just tank up. I'm gonna try to knock out all of the um, bridge stuff, the gang vocals, harmonies, backups, doubles, all that stuff. And then, uh, and then that'll probably be it for the rest of the day, actually. And then I'll just need to edit and comp and do all the super fun stuff. Ah. You're not worth this, you're not alone. You're not worth this, you're not alone. You're not the sum of all your wrongs. I know you're feeling helpless. I know you're feeling lifeless. You're not worth this, you're not alone. You're not the sum of all your wrongs. Ooh, boy. That's a lot of vocals. I will obviously have to go through all that. Um, we're gonna move on to this chorus. You so jaded, making everything complicated. Tell me why you feel so lost and alone. Okay, we just gotta do this a bunch more. From here, I spent about 45 minutes literally just recording over and over and over again to get that big choir type sound. What the heck? Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna lie. Vocal days are like some of my favorite because it's like, it's when things start to feel real. This feels real. So <clears throat> I have a crazy amount of work to do now with just like comping and editing and pitch correction and just all the crazies. So time lapse in three, two, one. Literally all I'm doing here is just picking the best takes of absolutely everything. This took almost an hour. Oh man, vocals took a good while. I'm not even done. I haven't even started tuning anything. Just getting comps and editing. I'm brain fried. It's, it's late in the afternoon. I have a bunch of other stuff I have to get done. So I'm gonna finish all the vocal editing, get everything tuned and knocked out tomorrow. And then it's literally just from there, it's mixing, which is crazy. This thing just came together so fast. Sounds dope. So I'm tired and hit it hard tomorrow. See you then. We are halfway through the week. I'm not gonna lie, Monday and Tuesday felt like four days. So the start of the week was kind of crazy, was super intense, a lot of music made, obviously. My plan for today is to edit all the vocals unjaded, which, Lord have mercy, because it's a lot of vocals. So many vocals, so many vocals. So I need to tune those vocals, just clean everything up, get everything completely ready to go. And then literally, I can start working on the mix of that song, which is crazy. This song, Literally two days, boom, two days. Once I'm finished with that, I have to turn my focus back to the hymns project, which honestly, this part of the process is my least favorite part of the entire process because it's all of that detail work, all the nuanced work, all the just going through the pages of notes that I've taken and updating everything and blah, blah, blah. We'll see how my voice is feeling tomorrow and Friday. I may start recording some vocals on the hymns that I'm singing on. I'm singing on six of the hymns. My voice has been 
really up and down lately. This cough is just not going away. But fortunately, the tone of my voice, it doesn't really sound like I'm sick when I'm singing, which is a good thing. It's just uncomfortable. And then in addition to that, I have a lot of non-music things to work on. This is a good opportunity to let you know. I have a course called Producer Accelerator. If you don't know about it, it's pretty awesome. We've been running it for three years and it's been extremely helpful to almost 1,500 producers worldwide. And I'm gonna let you in on a little bit of a secret. We're getting ready to launch Producer Accelerator 2.0. And this is one of the big things that I have to work on. I'm adding a ridiculous amount of content. And spoiler alert, one of the big parts of Producer Accelerator is the artist development side, which is something that we have never made content on in the course previously. So honestly, now is probably a pretty good time for you to join Producer Accelerator. If there is any good time to join, it's now. Because you're literally gonna be getting entire courses for free completely free with Producer Accelerator 2.0. And the reason is because we are grandfathering all of the people who joined before we launched Producer Accelerator 2.0 into that. And because you're watching this video, sticking with this entire series, use this discount code at checkout and you can get 30% off because I like you for watching this video. Sweet. I'm gonna edit vocals now. Tell me why are you so jaded? Making everything complicated. Tell me why you feel so lost. Okay. Got lead vocals edited. I need to take a breather. I just realized I haven't had any food, so I'm gonna go get some breakfast. I'm gonna refresh my coffee, water, all that jazz, and then we're gonna come back and finish these vocals. We probably have an hour, hour and a half left on this. Uh, I'm gonna take a breather. We are back. Let's finish editing these vocals. We have a lot of work left to do. Let's knock it out. Oh my gosh, editing vocals takes so stinking long. So many vocals, so many vocals, but it sounds insane. I'm gonna show you here in just a second, but I had an idea. The whole song actually starts with just a really soft chorus. It's pretty much just piano and some ethereal stuff and then like a lead vocal singing that main chorus. And I had this idea to do this effect that you can actually hear on the NF song. So, I could tell you now. so what I'm gonna try doing is actually pitching the whole song up about three semitones. So that way when I sing this, it's gonna be three steps higher than it actually is. And I'm gonna retranspose it down and then I'm gonna form it shift it. So if you've ever heard the song, I think it's Let Me, Let Me Down by NF. Is that, is that what it's called? I wish that I could say I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I let you down. Let, let, let you down. Anyway, it does that kind of effect in Let You Down. Maybe I should ask Tommy how they actually did that. I might actually ask Tommy how they did that. Maybe I should do that. Cause I'm pretty sure, cause I'm pretty sure that the way they actually did that in the song was just pitch it up and then pitch it back down. Yo dude, I had a really random question. On the song that you did with NF. I'm sorry that I let you down, let, let, let you down. The, the like the pitch shifted thing that you guys did. Did you record that like a few steps higher and then pitch it down and do some stuff? Like, can you, can you share the sauce? Share the sauce, bro. Would you? Could you? I've seen other people do it. I'm just curious how you did it. You know what I'm saying, bro? If you don't want to tell me, that's fine. Anyways, I'm gonna go, bye. I'm gonna go ahead and just do it. I'm gonna see what kind of sounds I can get. I don't know, maybe I do it differently and like it more. Maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. I've actually never done it like this before. I did it on a, on a track I produced with for an artist uh, like a year ago. Um, but I'm gonna try it. We're, gonna, we're just gonna try it. I need to set the input. Tell me, tell me why you feel so lost and confused. Very quickly, just try this out using Little Alter Boy. Tell me why are you so jaded, making everything complicated. I think I'm gonna have to do this in Ableton. Shoot! For some reason, Ableton was not allowing me to capture the audio from Ableton. I basically just did all of this by recording the vocals in Ableton and trying to pitch it down there. I'm so jaded, making everything complicated. We're just gonna... Is this even gonna work? All right, so here's what the problem is. The problem is, is I don't actually use Ableton a whole lot. I got Ableton and I keep wanting to learn Ableton. The problem is that I'm so used to logic and Ableton is like a different part of my brain that it's tapping into and I've just been getting super frustrated. Nothing's really working. I think I might've gotten the effect, but I think what I need to do is record the vocal in Logic and comp it and tune it and do everything in Logic and then pull it into Ableton, do the pitch stuff in Ableton and then pull it back into Logic. I know some of you are gonna be like, there's an easier way. Maybe there is an easier way. If there's an easier way, tell me, or I guarantee you Tommy's gonna text me after I'm already finished with all of this and then chances are it'll be different and then I'm gonna be like, cool story, bro, and then I'm gonna do that and it's gonna sound better anyway, so I'm just wasting a lot of time. <sighs> Should I just wait? Tommy, send me a text back. All right, take a listen. We're gonna see what they did. Yeah, dude, uh, sorry, there's actually not 
any sauce to dish it's literally we he just sang the chorus in the normal register an octave and we just pitched it up a whole octave and then um i don't remember where we put the formant knob but we either pulled it down or up or whatever so that's just nate pitched up an octave from him singing the chorus normal but dude little altar boy if you don't have that plugin it's absolutely amazing you can put it on anything and it's so sick so i was like going into like ableton and like trying all this stuff like try to be smart about it just pitch it up an octave and form and shift it okay i thought i was being all smart i guess i guess i should go try that now <laughs> we're gonna go try that now <laughs> okay we're gonna try it i'm just gonna go ahead and throw we got little altar boy let's bump that up an octave me why are you so jaded That just doesn't sound good. Why does it sound so bad? He sits on a throne of lies. So funny. It sounds so bad. Tell me, tell me, tell me why are you so... I'm, I'm actually starting to think that I just, maybe I do try recording it because I thought that it maybe sounded pretty decent in Ableton. Tell me why are you so jaded? Making everything complicated. Tell me why you feel so lost and alone. I'm just gonna export this. We're gonna figure this out. Let's open up Ableton now. For some reason, the screen recording wasn't really wanting to capture audio from Ableton, so hopefully it does work now, but it might not. Tell me why are you so jaded? Making everything complicated. Tell me why you feel so lost and alone. That works. I know you always feel so naked and everybody knows you hate it. Tell me why you feel so lost and confused. So I'm gonna get this done and then we're actually gonna take a look at the vocals. I'm gonna show you the vocals, this sounds sick. We got it pulled in. I'm so excited to listen to this right now. First listen, pulled in the logic, add some effects. Tell me why are you so jaded? Making everything complicated. I really like that, that's sick. I'm gonna show you the rest of these vocals. This is the verse. Three o'clock in the morning, staring at the wall. Got no words for this feeling, so you're sitting with it all. You've gotten numb to the pain, so you're used to how it feels. You tell yourself it's okay, it's just part of the game. But you're not okay. I know you're feeling jaded. You're not about this, you're not alone. You're not the sum of all your wrongs. I know you're feeling helpless. I know you're feeling mindless. Tell me why are you so jaded? So pretty much next stop is just mixing this thing. I'll either see you later today or tomorrow. Bye. It is Thursday morning. And I had this moment getting into the studio this morning where I just kind of started realizing, holy crap, I'm gonna be out of town for a week next week. And I think it's not been on my mind the whole week. And now it's like, I have literally today and tomorrow, and that is it. 
I kinda need to take a deep breath right now. So here's what needs to happen. One of the big things that I need to do today is I need to record vocals on the song How Great Thou Art for my hymns project. And the reason is because Rin, who did the vocals on this a couple weeks ago, is doing all the backup vocals on verse three. So she sings the lead vocals on verse one and verse two, and then I sing, sing the lead vocals on verse three, and then she's gonna be singing a duet slash kind of harmonizing with what I'm doing. I need to get that done so then she can give me vocals, hopefully by the end of next week. And then basically like the week after I'm gone, next week is going to just be mixing and finishing this whole album. So in a lot of ways, I'm kind of feeling this kind of pressure of like this album, I have like maybe a week and a half left total to finish this album. The second thing is, is that I got vocals back from Nika Jane, who is singing the vocals on the song It As Well. So that means I need to go through and edit all of those vocals as well. That needs to be done before the end of this week and before I leave. Beyond that, I would like to have Jaded 100% done. So I still have to mix that song, which I, I don't actually think is gonna be very hard. I really think I'm probably gonna be able to mix a song in maybe an hour and a half. But I typically like giving myself two days to mix so that way I get the first draft done on one day, give my ears a breather, sleep on it, come back the next day, and then I can basically get it finished. So that means that I need to get the mix done today. Here's the plan of attack. I'm going to mix Jaded first, get a version one mix done on that. My ears are fresh, it's morning, good time to get started, let my voice warm up. Once I get that done, I'm going to get vocals recorded on How Great Thou Art. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and get it as well, completely edited on vocals. I'm pretty sure I can get that all done today. Let's get started. All right, I have Jaded opened up and I just, this like pitched vocal thing that I have. Tell me why are you so jaded? Making everything complicated. I don't know if I love it anymore. Making everything complicated. Tell me why you feel so lost and alone. The one thing I was thinking too is it sounds a little odd to have that kind of pitched vocal and then verse one is me singing normally. It does sound a little, a little out of place. Dang it. I haven't even, cause Everything that I did on that was for the pitched vocal, which means I haven't even tuned or comped the, the main one. I think actually that's where I need to start. I'm gonna start by just quickly comping and editing and tuning uh, this first chorus. Dang it, not really how I wanted to start my day. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. Tell me why are you so jaded? Making everything complicated. Tell me why you feel so lost and alone. No, okay, you that took like a little over 10 minutes to do, so not terribly long. Problem here is if I start mixing now, I'm gonna be hungry in half an hour. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pause. I'm gonna get some food. I usually eat breakfast after I start working. I know I'm weird. I'm gonna get food, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna mix this, and then we're gonna get going. It's gonna, it's gonna be a good day. Let's go, let's go. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. We're gonna mix this song right now. Let's do it. Now obviously I'm not going to show you mixing this entire song because that would be ridiculous. So if you want to see the entire mix session, join my course producer accelerator because I'm going to be putting this entire mix session in there for my students. So there you go. Let's do it. Tell me why you feel so lost and confused. I know you're feeling jaded. Just like that a little over an hour. We blew through that mix so fast. Most of it was honestly just automation, just a lot of automation. That's kind of where most of my mixes are, is volume. It's the big thing, volume and then reverbs and then just getting the vocals mixed really well. So what you just heard was obviously what I heard at the end, at the final chorus. Sounds dope, so dope. I'm gonna give my ears a break, it's almost noon. I had an hour and a half long call before this that I completely forgot about that I needed to be on, so that kind of took a big chunk out of my day. So I'm gonna take a breather, reset my ears, and then I need to come back, and then we need to cut vocals on how great thou art. <sighs> okay, so, took a little bit of a breather, did a few odds and ends. We're now gonna record vocals on how great thou art. Fortunately, it's just a single verse, just a lead vocal, no doubles, no nothing. I've been coughing nonstop, so this is, <coughs> There you go, like that. So I'm just gonna power through it. This is the only vocals I'm gonna do today. Rest next week while I'm traveling and then hopefully my voice is better when I come back and then I can literally knock out all the remaining vocals I have to do. When Christ shall come. All right, here we go, let's do it again. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart. Then I shall bow in humble adoration 
and then proclaim, my God, how great thou art. I think I'm just going to focus on this verse first. The thing that makes these hymns incredibly difficult to do is the range is absurd. Like the verses are get pretty low. And Christ shall come with shout of acclamation and take me home. What joy shall fill my heart? Then I shall bow in humble adoration and then proclaim, my God, how great thou art. I feel really good about that. Then sings my soul. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings. My soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. All right, wow, that went super fast. It's been 12 minutes. 12 minutes, okay. I think I have enough to make a comp, and uh, if I need to redo it, I'll obviously come back and redo some stuff, but I am pretty proud of that, actually. And we're done. Boom. 12 minutes. 12 minutes! Let's go! How great thou art! How great thou art! Oh my gosh, we got the vocals edited. They sound so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what you heard during that time lapse is what it sounds like. I'm really proud of that vocal performance. I don't really like my voice. So if you feel like you don't like your voice, I think I think that's normal. I think it's normal to not like your voice. I personally don't love my voice. I also feel like, you know what? My voice is part of who I am and other people aren't gonna like it and other people are gonna like it. And you know, who am I to decide, right? What people like and what people don't like. And if I just don't put my voice on something because of my own insecurity, then the people that would like my voice are never gonna get to see that or never get to hear that. So anyway, deep thoughts. Welcome to my philosophy lecture. Class will be back in session next week, 10 a.m., be there. Basically, the last thing I have to do today is I wanna edit vocals on the hymn It As Well. I got all the vocals back from Nika Jane, who is the vocalist singing on that hymn. Uh, this week and so I need to get those vocals edited. I literally haven't even opened the session and looked at it I, I literally have not even looked at the session yet So we're gonna do that together and you're gonna be able to hear what I got to work with it's gonna be sick But first it's about two o'clock and I haven't eaten any food since breakfast I need a shower get cleaned up all that jazz and just get a little bit of a reset So I'm gonna do that. We'll be back. See you soon. Alrighty, so I got a shower and I realized it's almost 3 p.m. I have a bunch of video editing I have to do. So I think I'm gonna hold off to do all the rest of the music stuff until tomorrow morning. So we'll be back tomorrow morning to wrap everything else up. Let's just do that. See you tomorrow. It's Friday morning and I was taking a look at my calendar, taking a look at everything that needs to get done. And as much as I want to just crank out a bunch of music stuff, my day is already gonna be a short day as it is because I need to take care of some things to get ready for my trip. But I also have a ton of non-music related things I have to get done. So I'm gonna do the hard thing. <laughs> I'm not going to work on music today. <sighs> and as a reminder, there will be no video next week since I'm going to be gone the entire week. But I'll see you in the next episode. Open